Hey guys, welcome to uh, another tutorial. Today we are making procedural stairs. It'll look like this. And as you can see, it is all procedural. It's just a plain EV. It will look like that. And then cycles like this. Stairs. So open up a new document and delete the default cube and add a plane. Make sure you're in cycles with experimental features set and add a subdivision surface modifier with adaptive and simple. Now going into the shading workspace, add a new material and delete the principal BSDF. Now we're going to make a gradient texture and plug that into the surface and in the settings here do displacement and bump. Now we're going to add a color ramp and in linear we're gonna add eight eight things eight little colors that's the word for them as we all know so we have eight things now we're gonna change that to constant and we have this now if we move this and add a uh, displacement node and plug that into displacement and plug the color into the height we will have something that sort of resembles stairs in here we want to make that point two so that they're more orderly now we are going to put this to zero and we are going to add a mix a math node into that and make it multiply. Then we're going to add a geometry node and another math node. No, a separate x, y, z. Plug the position into the vector and make a math node and put compare. Put the y into the first value and then zero into the next value and 0.5 into the epsilon. Now we should have something that looks like this. And also change the last color in the color wheel to black. Now take out the surface, the color of the color the color of the color ramp into the surface, take that out and add a principled BSDF. and plug it in to the surface and you can make this any color and the stairs will then be that color you can also make it a texture you also do not make this displacement and bump it should be displacement only and that should get rid of some artifacts and make this more levels to get rid of more artifacts Two is good. And then just add an HDRI, and then you have your stairs. And it's just one plane, but you will be able to use it anywhere. It is a little intensive to render, so keep that in mind. But other than that, you have procedural stairs. This could help for other things, but it just gives you a nice knowledge of procedurals it's quick and easy so thanks for watching we'll be doing more procedurals soon and yes stay tuned for those